Hi, and welcome to Kixi. In this video, I'm going to show you a brief overview of the Manage Agents section, the Manage Groups section, and Manage IVRs section of the Kixi dashboard. Um, so let's get started. I'm in the Manage Agents section right now, and I've got a list of all of my agents, first, last email, the tier that they're on, and their extension, and I can view any given one of them. So let's go into my own agent profile and I can see some of my reporting stats and call history uh, my devices and routing and numbers and an edit section as well my basic info so let's start with devices and routing here I'm able to determine what happens when I'm directly dialed uh, the first part the simultaneous ring group whatever devices I have with Kixi whether it's just the Kixi power call or the power call and a desk phone or also a mobile app, they're all going to be in these devices to ring and I can highlight any one of them that I want to actually ring, hit save changes and those devices will simultaneously ring when my direct dial number is called. And then the external forward here, that's going to, after 20 seconds, as you can see that it rings these devices, it's going to externally forward if I have this on, which I do here. Um, and ring for 25 seconds to my external device, which is this one over here that has this number. That happens to be um, a business desk phone that we have. So it will forward to that number for 25 seconds, and then I have press 1 to connect on, which requires me, when I answer a call on this number, requires me to press 1 to answer. That's basically to, to protect against the call going all the way to the voicemail associated with this particular number. Uh, reason being, if press 1 is enabled and it requires that in order to complete the call, when it hits the voicemail, there will be no press 1, so Kixi will know to kick that call over to the agent's Kixi voicemail rather than that device's actual voicemail for the external forward. Um, so that is the devices and routing. The numbers over here um, are whatever numbers that I have associated with my account that will direct dial me. Um, I can add new if I want to, um, get a new number. Each agent is entitled to one number for free. And when you add new ones, it'll be billed $1.25 uh, per month per number there. Um, I can also edit basic info, my first and last, what my caller up caller ID on the outbound side will look like um, and I can also change my extension and uh, email address as well. So that's how I manage agents. Uh, now groups and IVRs. So I'll start with groups, it's a little more simple. Um, so you see we have a bunch of groups here and for any given group you can assign a number to that group if you'd like or that group can just be a subcomponent of an IVR and not actually have a number associated with it. But it can just be like a group, call it the sales group, that if somebody calls into the IVR and presses one, it'll go to that group, but there's no way to actually call that group directly, if you follow. Um, so here I can manage my groups, and if I'd like, I can call up Kixi or email support at kixi.com and tell them, or tell me, to uh, put a number onto this particular group, because I want to have this group be a particular number, reachable by a particular number. Um, so let's go into our sales group here. Any given group is going to look basically like this. Um, it is going to ask me where do I send the voicemails when a voicemail uh, hits this particular group. Um, and also, when somebody calls this particular group, does it have a greeting? Does it have no greeting? Does it have a text-to-speech? Does it have an MP3? Um, that's really going to be up to you and you know, dependent on where this group is. If it's an IVR like it is here, we'll just have a text-to-speech saying, please hold while we connect you, that sort of thing. And on the no answer, it goes to a voicemail. Um, you could also specify it to go to an IVR group or agent, but voicemail is generally a common thing to do with groups. Um, to set a, a greeting for that voicemail on a group, email me an mp3 at support at and I'll attach it to this particular group. Just let me know which group um, by the group name and I'll do that for you. And then for the group, um, I can basically have, there's a number of different options here. 
So what happens on this one is when this sales group is triggered for 20 seconds simultaneously with no press one, uh, Jeff's WebRTC and desk phone, his Kixi power call and his desk phone ring simultaneously for 20 seconds. And if he does not pick up, it goes to the second group. There doesn't have to be a second group, but in this one there is. Um, simultaneous, 20 seconds, no press one, it goes to me, my desk phone, and my Kixi power call, WebRTC. And then it's over, it'll go to voicemail if there's no answer. Um, again, you can also route it to an agent or a group or whatever you want. And uh, that is that. So that's how groups work. And IVR is a little more complicated. Um, work like this. I'll show you our primary IVR. We have a whole bunch of them, but you can actually only have one IVR with Kixi that has a number attached to it. These other IVRs that you see, you could include them theoretically um, beneath that IVR. It's known as a multi-level IVR, um, but let's not get into that. If you need that, let me know and I can explain to you how to do it, but most people don't. Uh, they just need an IVR with a number. And so this is ours, our primary. Um, that has a number attached to it and we'll go in here and in its case it has a text-to-speech greeting that says this um, although it could have an mp3 as well and um, it has all of these IVR options so if a customer dials 108 it goes to this agent Jeff and it goes to his direct dial call flow like I was showing you before um, press 1, go to sales, 105, 107, go to these particular agents. So you can specify again, like I said before, uh, for it to go to a certain group. And, um, and those are the options. So if no button is pressed, the no answer action will, in this case, send it to a group. And the sales group is where it will go and it'll end up, if nobody picks there, as we saw before, going to the voicemail. Um, but it could also go to any of these options. So there's a lot to work with. Um, if you have more questions, you can email me at support at and uh, you can also call 424-800-3337. Be more than happy to walk you through setting up your IVR. Um, and it's great, once it's done, you got this professional sounding IVR or uh, professional sounding ring groups um, and you'll be good to go. So thank you for watching and uh, good luck.